Three math, lesson 37. Multiply by 3, multiply by 6. When you multiply by 3, you're saying, how many times am I going to add a 3 together? 3 times 2 is 3 plus 3. You have two 3's, see? It says, that's how many times you're going to add a 3 together. You're going to do it two times. 1, 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 plus 3 is 6. Let's look at this one. 3 times 5. We have a 5 and a 5 and a 5. Or you can say we have a 3, 3, 3, 3, and 3. You have a 3 5 times, or a 5 3 times. See that? That equals 15. It's the same thing as saying you're going to add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. There's five threes here. And that also equals 15. Let's look at the six times table. That's saying how many times are you going to add sixes together? Six times three is the same thing as six plus six plus six. See? Six times six is the same thing as doing it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Six times six equals 36. And all these sixes added together equals 36. Now, let's take a look at the three times table. Starting with zero, of course, three times zero is going to be zero. And the answers are going to jump by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Three times ten is thirty, of course. Thirty-three and thirty-six. Let's look at the six times table. Starting with zero, of course, six times zero is zero. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, just like in the 3 times table, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 66, and 72. Now what happens when we jump, skip count them, on a number line? Let's do the 3's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. See? Those are the answers in the three times table. But when we do it by sixes, we jump to 6, 12, 18, 24, and then the next one would be 30. Do you see how the 3 is right in the middle? of the 6 answer, it's like it cuts it right in half. And that's because 3 and 3 makes 6. So it's right in the middle. See that? So because 3 times 2 equals 6, 3 is a factor of 6. They share some same products. So they share the 6, they share the 12, they share the 18, they share the 24, and they actually share the 30. See that? Here's the 30 answer, and here's the 30 answer. Look at they even share the 36. And if you kept going 3 times 13, 3 times 14, 3 times 15, you would find more of them that they share. Okay? Those are called common factors when you can uh, multiply them and they share them. See that? So, that is the 3 and 6 times table. You should practice them as much as you can so that you can memorize them because, like I've said before, the more you multiply your, your times table, the quicker you'll be able to do your math. And, you know, you should be able to do them in your head. It'll help you in the future in algebra and geometry. And if you go above that to trigonometry and calculus, it'll help you in that too. It'll help you when you shop at a store to be able to figure out discounts and to figure out how much money you're making at your job. So do your best to multiply them and practice them. Get some flashcards, have somebody quiz you or try to quiz yourself. And you're doing great. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video.